Hello everyone. In today's video, we will make our own function block. First, let's make a new project. To make a new function block, we have to right click the FB slash fun tab and click add new data and then give our function block a name. Now that it's created, we can give the function block some local tags. Now that our tags are done, we can start making our function for the block. I will make a simple latching circuit like we did in the previous video. Now that our function block is finished, we want to go to our programming unit and call it there. To do so, we click on Element Selection window. Then in the Element Selection, we can find our function block in the Project tab. To get it to the rung, we will just click and drag it there. We will now give our function block a name. I will name my block motor block 0. If we go to the local tag list for our programming unit, we can now see that our function block automatically been declared. I will now add a new rung and call for a second motor block. The block will be declared like the previous one. Now that we got our blocks ready, we want to add a couple global tags that we can call. I will declare one input tag to start both the motors. Then two separate tags that will stop the motors.
Now that we got everything declared, I will call the tags to my function blocks. Let's save, compile, and simulate our program to see how it behaves. Now that I switch my start push button tag, it will start make the blocks hold both circuits. But when I use the stop push button tags, they can stop the motor separately. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it smash the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. In the next video, we will go through some already built in function blocks.